What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword Walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we won our second badge, the Water Badge, against our girlfriend, Nessa. Yes, it's time for us to go. It's really hard to say goodbye. And, well, just because we won our second badge, all Pokemon up to level 40 will now listen to us. And, yes, we are now able to capture Pokemon up to level 30, which is great. So now... Our next uh, adventure is going back to Motostoke, but we're going to be going into the Galar uh, Caves uh, number two, I think. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, Hop obviously waited for us after we won. He took our victory away uh, because, you know, he's he's Hop and all that crud. And we all know how much I hate Hop. Yes. He's probably more annoying than Barry. I don't know. But here we are grabbing this little thing. We got ourselves a Shell Bell, which actually uh, restores some... Uh, actually restore some HP for some of our Pokemon right here so now let's get the heck out of here and uh, continue on our adventure right here there's some other stuff that you can actually grab here too uh, you go here there's a record store you talk to this lady yes you will be able to buy some stuff some different incense and uh, hmm. yeah I, I do remember that there are two instances maybe three where you can actually where you can actually uh, evolve a Pokemon if they held the instance and all, all that stuff. And, well, let's see. What do, what do you sell? Let's see. A herb shop. This is the herb shop, which is always nice. And, well, let's see. There might be an item here. Yes. Found ourselves an item. And we found ourselves a magnet that can actually boost up electric-type moves. And uh, she's interested in a Minichini and Minchino. And let's see if we have a Cottony. No, we don't have a Minchino, so... Yeah, we gotta. Yeah, we definitely uh, have to boost up our our Pokemon and all that crud. So I think that's pretty much it right there. Okay, so let's go straight to the next adventure, and that is right here to the Galar Mines number two. And in the Galar Mines number two, you can actually find some interesting Pokemon like those guys. And oh man, I wanted to get them. Oh my god, that's uh, ridiculous. That's redonkulous. Okay, so uh, Yeah, we are not going to battle you because uh, yeah, Shellos, you are scary. You are a scary Pokemon right there and Got you <laughs> Yes, here we have Wimpod and many of you guys already know Wimpod is It's exactly what the name says. It's a wimp. It runs away uh, you have to be very, very fast to actually capture it. And because of that, let's go straight for a netball. Now, one thing that I kind of don't like about Wimpod and its, evolu uh, its evolution is that, you know, there's this, its effect where it's if it's at 50%, it automatically switches out. It, it, it's kind of annoying, but there it is. We caught Wimpod. Shadow Blade grows to level 23. And, uh, well, let's see. Bam, Wimpod is onto the PC right here, the Turntail Pokemon. It's nature. It's nature's cleaner. It eats anything and everything, including garbage and rotten things. The ground near its uh, nest is always clean. That's uh, that's pretty interesting right there. So we're gonna send this Pokemon straight to the PC. That's. I just wanted to capture this guy just for the sheer, the whole thing. And you know what? I'm gonna go off screen and capture this guy. Okay. So we caught. We pretty much caught Shatter. And well, that is pretty much it right there. But look at this. You again. Obviously, that's not really his voice, but you again. I'd feel sorry for my Pokemon if I made them take part in the battle against low-level opponents. I'm not in the mood to deal with weaklings right now. Then again, I suppose it's a form of mercy to crush weak opponents early on. If you're under the misguiding impression, uh, misguided impression that you're stronger than me, then you surely would be up to a Pokemon up for a Pokemon battle. And I'm like, yeah, naturally. It's utterly inconceivable that I, or inconceivable that I, the challenger chosen to buy the chairman, will lose. Okay, I'm just gonna put it this way right here. You lost to me the last time, okay? So I don't know what you're talking about. I really don't know what you're talking about, Willis. So what's going to happen right here is we're gonna kick your butt. Straight up, we're gonna just embarrass you. We're gonna dog stomp you. Yes, we are going to dog stomp you, mollywop you, we're going to humiliate you. You're not even going to get a move off. No, you're not. No, sir. So there we go. Yeah, look at that. Okay. So what are you talking about? Okay, we're a little wimp. 
And there goes more increased XP and points. And well, he's coming out with a Ponyta. You know what? Let's just embarrass him with one Pokemon. And as you can see right here, guys, this Ponyta is not like the original Ponyta. This guy, well, it's both Psychic and Fairy type Pokemon. And yeah, it's a very good combination. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're not going to get a move off. Uh-uh. I'm not going to let you. And he's about to come out with the Hitina. So I'm just going to continue on right here, embarrassing this guy. You're not going to get a move off. Not one bit. So there we go. Night Slash for the win. And just like that, Hatina has been defeated. So how am I a weakling? Really? How? And, well, you're coming out with a Gothita, so I'm just going to continue on right here. I don't care. Not everyone in my corner is like this. Oh, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, I, at first, I actually thought this person was a woman or a girl. But, you know, everybody told me that it was a guy, so, yeah, I guess so. And, well, there it is. There we go. And we have defeated Trainer Bead. You showed at least a little effort, so I decided I should uh, should let you win. Man. Okay, how do I hate... How do I hate uh, my rival more than this guy? I don't know. Hop, yes. Ah, pardon me. It seems I must take a break uh, back my words. My words. You're not weak. You're just a lack of talent. Your chances of completing the gym challenge is are pretty slim. I must say, here, I'll give you this. Something to show you at least you tried. And we got Bead's card, which is fantastic. Okay, so, yeah, this guy right here is getting on my last nerve. So, yeah, I'm going to embarrass you every single time I beat you or I take on you. So, yeah. And look look at that Pokemon. We already caught him. But it's a very, very cool Pokemon. And, well, as you can see right here, this looks like a Pokeball, but really it's a Bear Trap. And uh, we do not want to mess with the Bear Trap. So, let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Let's go ahead... And give Bex a turn because, well, Bex, it's been a while. And let's go right ahead and take this guy on right here. My Pokemon is bursting with energy. What I mean to say is, please battle me. Okay. Alrighty. So here we go. Taking on work, Worker Francis. And just like that, we're taking on Bex, right? Or we're, or we're taking on a Carcoal. Carcoal is the evolution of, well, you know, uh, I can't remember what it was called. Uh, yeah, Rolly Oli Poli. I don't know. Again, I forget names real quickly, guys. My bad. And, well, there comes a flame charge. And that right there didn't hit me very hard, but it increases its speed. Not to worry, because, well, good old Bex right here does a double kick. And just like that... We have defeated another Pokemon right here. And, well, more experience points for all of us. And Worker per worker Francis is not loving this. He is not loving this, not the least bit. Okay. So, let's move on. Grab this item right here. We got three Dusk Balls, which can actually capture uh, Pokemon in, uh, well, make e capturing Pokemon easier in, uh, in caves or in the dark. So... As you can see, I barely stepped on that Pokeball, and we got a Galarian version of the, uh, uh, Stunk Fist right here. And, well, yeah, I'm not going to mess with this guy right here, so. Okay, so, let's move on right here. Let's see, there are Pokemon to be captured. I do not want to mess with you right now. And, uh, well, there's a lot of fishing areas right here, guys. So, let's go right ahead and start battling some people. Actually, let's grab the... God dang it! When I'm tired of work, it's time for a battle. I'll show you the muscles I've built up. Okay, whatever you say. Let's go. So here it is. We're taking on Yvonne, and she is a little mad right now. Just a little mad. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, so let's go straight for a double kick. And there we go. Double kick for the win. Oh my god. Oh my god. And well, the weak armor is actually increasing its speed right there, but yeah, that's not going to work right here. <laughs> okay. So there we go, guys. And well, let's see. It's about to come out with a timber. So let's go straight for a Shadow Blade right here. 
And let's go let's go ahead and see if Shadow Blade can actually do some damage right here with its pluck attack. Now it could have learned a little bit uh, better flying type moves and all that crud, but <laughs> I don't know. And well, let's see. Pluck attack right here. Pluck attack does the trick. Oh my god, nearly defeats him. And well, let's see. Let's go again with another plug attack. And bam, there we go. So Timber has been defeated. Holy crud. And just like that, we get some more experience points and defeat another <laughs> another person right here. Holy crud. And well, let's see. Let's grab this right here. We get ourselves a Grip Claw, which, an item held by a Pokemon, it extends the duration of multi-turn attacks such as Bind and Wrap, which is uh, very, very good. Now we're going to be moving on forward right here, and as you can see, there's a Pokeball-shaped area right there. Do not want to mess with it. And oh my god. So here we go. Team Yell is like, excuse me, mate. Sorry to bother you. You're going to, you're one that's taking a part in the gym challenge, right? Crikey. But that really something. I'd, I'd love a battle against a great trainer like you. Well, look at you, Draven. And surrounded by adoring fans, eh? You'll even uh, be showing up Lee pretty soon. Oh, Jug Mill, are you going, mate? Can't you see we're in the middle of a uh, conversation here? Uh, yeah, we are. Yeah. And you can't see that I'm Hop the trainer? Your neck, uh, who will be your next champion? Oh, so we got a Joker here, eh? You're so funny, I forgot to laugh. <laughs> I'm laughing at you, man, because you're not the champion. I'm just going to skip the dialogue right here, and I'm just going to show these guys how it's going to be. So, let's go right ahead and go for the battle, and uh, let's see. Well, I really don't care. This guy's just talking uh, all this crap. So, let's go right ahead and battle. So, here it is, guys. A team yell. Team Yell Grunt wants to battle us. And, well, Devil and Stevel coming out. And here we have Bex and this guy right here. So, a wooly bully. So, let's go right ahead and uh, take care of this right here. Let's go straight for a double kick attack for Thievil. And uh, just uh, prove to everybody that, yeah, this guy is not the champ. He's not going to be the champ. And, and just like that... Oh my god, okay, so there we go, Ex increased points, experience points, and all that stuff, increase the levels, and here comes a Night Slash, gonna hit Wooloo, and it hits it pretty hard, so here comes another, oh wow, it knows Double Kick, I didn't even realize that, oh, oh, good, yeah, you're not really doing much, man, so let's see, do, this team, oh yeah, team, Gr uh, team Yell is coming out with a, Team Yell is coming out with his Lyperd right here, so let's go ahead and finish off the job right here with Lay Noon, and... Baby doll eyes. Are you serious? Decreasing my attack. Holy crud. So here comes a double kick. And just like that, Lanoon has been defeated. Oh my god. And, well, let's see. Here we have the Fury Swipes for these Pokemon right here. And the Fury Swipes is not really working. Yeah, that's right. I'm invincible. I'm an invincible bunny. Now, I would have named this Pokemon Bugs Bunny if it, well, if it wasn't for something. Oh, because, you know, we're in England. Somewhat England and all that crud, and well, you know, somewhat, uh, you know, somewhat England and somewhat uh, soccer style and all that crud. So there we go, a double kick attack right here, and just like that, Lightbird has been defeated. And look at this, guys. That's right, three in a row. Yet the the supposed champion wants to uh, what you gonna call it? <laughs> he wants to claim the championship before even winning it. While well, I'm defeating everybody right here, holy crud. Okay, so here comes a tackle attack, and Pancham is like looking at this guy and he's just like, "Yeah, we're gonna." The real threat is right there, and because of that, we get switched over to Michelangelo. So let's go right ahead and go for a headbutt right here. Holy bejeebus! And oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, so. Yeah, this is... Okay, so why is Hop not doing anything? Why is he not hitting anything? Seriously, that's annoying. Okay, never mind. So there we go. Let's go ahead and get another headbutt attack right here. 
And... Well, look at that. Okay, so there we go. Headbutt for the win. And just like that, Pancham has been defeated. Okay, alrighty. Alrighty, so there we go. Michelangelo grows to level 25. And, yeah, we did all the work right here while Hop was just, you know, BSing around. So, yeah. I guess so. I guess so. Anywho. Look at that. Grunt A is like, that little mug's uh, the champion's little brother. Guess that's what you get when your older brothers are not useless. I know we're Team Yell, but we leave quietly once they we're beaten. Are you sure? I don't know. You were kind of like cussing up a storm with me. Nice one, Draven. That's my rival for you. Now then... Where could Kabu have gone off to? Let's keep going. Maybe he's further in. Man, I really love the fact that he, he takes credit for, you know... Oh, wow. Ah! I really love the fact that he takes the credit for beating these guys when really he hasn't done nothing. I mean, that's just my observation and all that stuff. Okay, so... Oh, God. Okay, so we're going to have to go slowly. Oh, my God. Woo, man, I got scared right there. Holy crud. And, well, we're going to be battling this guy right here. So let's go ahead and start battling. Holy lord, let's go. And, well, here we go. Rail Staff Vincent wants to battle us. And he is going to be coming out with a drill burr. And, well, Bex, I think you got this. So let's go right ahead and go straight for a double kick attack right here. See if it actually works. Double kick right here. And let's get another double kick. Look at that. Okay. Let's go. And, well, this guy is sharpening up the claws right here. And let's try this one more time. Double kick. Let's get it. For the win. And there goes Drillbur. How do you like us now? Holy crud. Okay. So there it is. And, well, let's see. He's coming out with an Onyx. So let's go straight for a Water-type Pokemon right here. Let's go with Michelangelo. And let's put him in his element right now. Put him in his element where he's just destroying everybody with water type attacks and all that crud. So look, 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 look at this. Onyx coming out. And well, let's see. Let's go straight for a waterfall attack. It has been a while since we've seen a waterfall attack. And bam. Look at that. Okay. And well, holy crud. Just like that, we defeat another de uh, another opponent right here. And, well, let's see. What is this item right here? It's a TM, and that is TM49 Sand Tomb. And, well, let's go ahead and uh, let's just go ahead and move on right here. So, there is a small portion that I did. I, I failed to check. I think this is where... Oh, no. There is an item right here, but... There is also a Pokemon right there that I don't want to get attacked by. So I'm going to have to, like, zoom out of here. My agility is, like, being put to the test right here. Holy crud. Okay, so look at that. How many How many of these Pokemon are, are around here? Good gravy. Okay, so, yes, we finally reached the very end right here. And would you look at that. Kabu's like, thank you for helping out, uh, helping out my training, Team Yell. But I must say... It's unforgivable for what you get, uh, for, for you to get in the way of carcal hard, carcal hard work, hard at work, I should say. We weren't getting in its way. We were trying to cheer it on. Still, you did a number on us with the, uh, in uh, a number on us that Pokemon battle. So it's time for Team Yell to scarper and give moral boost somewhere else. Hmm. Okay, somewhere else. Cheering is one thing, but one shouldn't get in the way of honest work. Gur. That's Kabu. Man, he's wicked. No wonder he's a fire type gym leader. Huh. Uh, you are the trainers endorsed by Leon. Hop and Draven, am I right? I'm just training right up until the last moment so I can guarantee the perfect match when I face you gym challengers. I specialize in fire type Pokemon and the water type Pokemon, uh... In Galar number, uh, Galar mine number two are the perfect opponents to train against. Regardless, it's getting late. Just go straight once you get to the uh, get out of this mine, and you'll reach Moto Stoke. Get a good rest at the hotel, and make sure uh, you're both on the top condition. Okay, look at that. Come on, Carcol, time for you to head home too. I'll make sure you get uh, get there safety safely. And cool. Okay, alrighty. 
We're going to we're going to be on uh, be on fire tomorrow. Hmm. Okay. All right. So he 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 says we're going to be on fire tomorrow, and I remember Lee talking about Kabu. He said that a lot of the gym challengers give up uh, because they just can't beat Kabu. Man, I'm getting all fired up now. Okay. All right. Never mind. Whatever. Okay. So. The next thing is we're going to have to go straight to the Badoo drop-in. And here we are at the very end, that carcoal from before. I guess it must have been here on a job. You know about Poke Jobs by now, right? Yes, I do. Of course you do. Now, I, I'm Cream Cracker, or Cream Cat Cracker, what the hell? I'm... I'm for the Badoo, uh, Badoo drop in and some sleep. Come tomorrow, that fire gym leader, uh, Kabu, better be ready because I'll be coming for him. Okay. All right. Whatever. Okay. So, as you can see, guys, there are some more Pokemon right here that you can actually try and capture. What I'm going to try and do is, well, get an item right here. Get the heck away from this Pokemon because he's, ah! He's running against us. Ah! He's still chasing us. Holy crud. Like, I swear to God, some of these Pokemon are too fast for their own good. And let's grab this. And just like that, we get three Great Balls. And I see a Pokemon that we can actually capture. It's a Hitina. And, well, let's go ahead and battle this last trainer right here. Maybe it's not the last trainer, but... Young Pokemon trainer, won't you honor me with a battle? Sure. Okay. So, Madam Caroline wants the battle right here. And she will be coming out with her Yamper. Big Booty Balto, and well, let's see. Let's get it. Let's go straight for a Flame Charge right here, and hopefully we don't get paralyzed at all. And well, there is a little bit of a charge right there, but here comes a Roar, and I did not realize that Roar actually worked in battle right here. Thought it was only from the wild, and well, here comes a Shadow Blade, and well, let's see. Let's go straight for a power trip attack. Hopefully this one will actually work against them. So power trip for the win. Not really. And again with another roar. Holy crud. Another roar. So here we go. Back to Bex. Let's go right ahead and go straight for a flame charge attack. And bam. Look at that. Okay. So there you go. Yamper has been defeated. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. So, let's see. She's about to come out with a Swoobat. So, let's go straight to... Let's see. Yeah, let's go to Michelangelo right now because Blitzkrieg just does not have the power yet. Not yet, but eventually it will. So, here is Michelangelo. And... Well, let's see what we can do right here. Let's go straight for a, a Rock Tomb attack. And... Oh, the Rock Tomb... Well, Rock Tomb is going to come in a little bit later, but here comes Rock Tomb Attack for the win. And say goodbye to Swoobat. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. And there comes the another. Here comes another experience points. And we have defeated Miss Caroline, or whatever her name is. And, well, we got to move out of here. Like, there's a lot of uh, pseudo Woodos right here. And there is an item right there that I forgot to get. So let's go ahead and get that. And there it is. We found ourselves an amulet coin, which can actually boost our monies. And, well, let's see. Getting the heck out of here. And, let's see. Yes, we are moving forward. We are going back to Moto Stoke right here, guys. And, well, it has been a journey, but this is where it all lies now. Because we are actually going to be taking on... We are actually going to be taking on, whatchamacallit, uh, the next gym leader. And it happened to be in the very first place we came into to, you know, well, to be introduced. So, here's Motosoak. And, man, is it going to be fun. So, we're going to stop right here, guys. In the next episode, we're going to be going into the Badoo drop-in, get a rest, and take on the Motosoak gym leader. So, stay tuned for all of that, guys. Thank you guys again for all your patience, for all your support. And I will see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.